Hi and welcome to chapter one. What is biology? Um, in this first lesson, we will be looking at organisms, but you will also be learning what the difference is between living things, dead things, and non-living things. First of all, the learning goals. You will be learning what biology is. You will be able to distinguish what is alive, dead, and non-living. Um, what life processes are, and you will be able to name and recognize the seven life processes. Okay, first of all, biology. Biology is the study of life. And this word biology is derived from the two Greek words bios and logos. And bios can be translated in life and logos in something like teaching or science. So in biology, we study living things. And now we're gonna have a closer look at these living things. Um, a living thing is called an organism. So an organism is a living thing, and a living thing is an organism. And to keep it simple, a bird is an organism, a plant is an organism, you are an organism, um, and all organisms carry out life processes. So these are things um, in which we can see if something is alive uh, or not. Uh, we have seven of them. Um, all organisms can breathe, they can feed, they can excrete, they can sense, they can move, they can reproduce, and th they can grow. So these are the seven life processes. Well, let's have a closer look at uh, life processes uh, with plants. I'm not going to give an example of all of them, um, but a plant can it can sense its surroundings so it can have it has a sense of where the light is so you see that plants can grow towards light um, but also that you can see that they know at which point of the day they can open their flowers or they have to close them so plants can also move their uh, their flowers but also other parts of their body um, alive when an organism carries out the life processes, uh, we say that it's alive. So here you can see a cow, it's running, uh, so, from, so this cow is alive. Um, when an organism stops carrying out the life processes, we say that it's dead. So all things that are alive will die eventually. Um, but there are also things that were never alive at all, and we refer to something as non-living if it was never alive at all. So if you look at these stones or you look at the spoon, um, these had never had any life processes. Uh, there are not. Uh, there wasn't the case that two of these stones they met each other and they got baby stones. So um, there were no life processes. So these are non-living. Okay, now we're going to have a little exercise. Look at these three images and decide if these are dead or non-living. You can pause the video. I will be giving the answers right away. Um, and the tree, uh, sorry, the chair is made of wood and wood comes from a tree. So the chair is uh, dead. Um, the nail is made of steel and steel was non-living. So a nail is non-living as well. Um, the skirt is made of cotton and cotton comes from a plant, so the skirt, the material, the material of the skirt is dead. Then, summary. Um, so biology is the study of life, a living thing is called an organism, and all organisms carry out life processes. So breathing, feeding, excreting, sensing, moving, reproduction, and growth. And when a organism carries out, uh, stops carrying out these life processes, we say that it is dead. We refer to something as non-living if it was never alive at all. Goed, dat was dan het einde van deze les. Um, mocht je dit filmpje in het Nederlands willen bekijken, uh, klik dan op het filmpje onder de Nederlandse vlag en voor het volgende Engelse les klik je op het filmpje onder de Engelse vlag.